radiation. Now, a wave like this can carry energy. Infrared, or IR radiation. But what exactly is radiation? Radiation. Whether you know it or not, it's everywhere. It's in this radio. It's in this microwave. It's even in this cat. And no, it's probably not going to turn you into the Hulk. Today, we're going to be diving deep to discover what radiation is and how to determine if it's as bad as the movies make it seem. So did radiation really endanger the city of Japan? Or was it something else? Little do many people realize movies can be misleading. <gasps> There's one thing that ruins radiation's rep. Radioactivity. Radioactivity and radiation are commonly mixed up. So what exactly are they? Let's ask the CDC. Radioactivity is defined as the process of spontaneous transformation of the nucleus, generally with the emissions of alpha or beta particles. Now that's scary. This is dangerous stuff. So does that mean radiation is bad too? Well first we need to ask, what is radiation? Radiation is all around us. Radiation is simply energy moving through waves or particles. Waves? Wait a second. That's just like the electromagnetic spectrum. You're right, Sarah. Now let's throw up this nifty chart called the electromagnetic spectrum. Now there's a whole bunch of stuff on here, so let's focus on the easy stuff, the waves. Right in the waves, man. Towards the left, we have these long waves, like radio and microwaves, that don't give off much energy. We call these low frequency waves non-ionizing radiation. Non-ionizing radiation can give off non-thermal, thermal, and optical effects. On the other hand, we have ionizing radiation. Ah! This is where we see X-rays and gamma rays. The end of the spectrum has short waves and gives off a lot of energy really quickly. This energy overload makes ionizing radiation dangerous. But in short, electromagnetic spectrum, short waves, ionizing, bad. But unless you're breaking every bone every other week, you're not going to come in close contact with ionizing radiation. So what does that mean about non-ionizing radiation? Well, let's find out. We have to find out if this energy is gonna hurt me like that jellyfish did at the beach. Curse you, Squishy. Ow, Dory! Now, let us descend. We've got an experiment to conduct. Make sure you put on your goggles and don't touch anything. You never know what could happen. All right, here we are. <coughs> I said, here we are. <laughs> Let there be light. As you can see, we have my assistant, Sarah, who will be helping demonstrate what radiation is. Everything is in place now. The real question is, will she survive? All right. Let's turn up the heat. So right now, there is one light currently focused on Sarah. As you can probably observe, she's completely unharmed. Now what if we increase it by tenfold? There is no obvious change, and she's still completely unharmed. Let's do it one more time. Will she survive? Sarah has 100 lights focused on her, and man, you can tell it's getting hotter. Now, let's really speed this up. A hundred thousand lights are focused on Sarah. Well, that was... interesting. Now, to be fair, you're probably not going to be faced against a hundred thousand lights in your average day. Unless you have an extreme multitude of non-ionizing radiation, you're not going Ooh. to melt away like I did. So when posed with the myth, all radiation's bad, we're going to have to say, busted. With all the benefits radiation brings, like warming up our planet, giving us colors, helping us see our bones, and overall bringing a benefit to society. We can't say that radiation is bad. So we give radiation 8 Carl Sagan out of a Neil deGrasse Tyson.